what's up welcome back to my channel what's up what's up what's up welcome to my first halloween tutorial so as you can see again i created a school version for this year as you know if you're watching my videos you know i love skulls and every year i try to make one and this year is something um glittery i came up with shiny blue i love blue i love everything blue i wish i had a blue wig also so i can like match up honestly i am already so hungry to go eat because i did this already i think three hours because i was uh, not really sure what i was doing at the end so i'm so hungry i had no time to make my hair at least bearable so please i'm sorry for this crazy hair this is the best i could do right now anyways it's all about the makeup so yeah this is my halloween 2018 uh, skull look and if you wanna see how to create it if you wanna recreate it please keep on watching and i'll see you on the next halloween video so first things first we're gonna cover up those browsies i'm gonna use a glue stick and kind of pull them on all the directions possible just to get in each single hair that glue and then yeah you look real fun <laughs> then with a brow brush i'm just gonna pull them upwards the direction that they are growing and just really wait when they're drying then i'm gonna just wipe off that excess glue around the eyebrows so they don't stick too much and i'm gonna do the same thing again and again at least for 10 to 15 times on until i really can feel and see that the eyebrows are really sticked on my skin and there's no hair like peeking out coming out you know and yeah once you feel that it's really dry after those many thousand times you've done it i'm gonna take like a translucent powder and just really push in that powder into brows so it fills in all the gaps and really sets the brows in the place then i'm gonna take cheek it's just a fan brush dust away all the excess powder and we're gonna continue with our face i'm gonna use the cryolone tv stick this is a super full coverage foundation amazing for like halloween stuff so i'm just gonna brush again upwards through the brows so i don't move around the glue or whatever and just cover up all the rest of my face and i'm gonna blend it with a sponge and really make sure that i push it into my brows so there's no like as you can see there's like a little bit cracked places if you push it in it's not gonna be visible anymore then after that again i'm gonna push in that translucent powder and i'm gonna set also the rest of my face with this powder and just dust it away at the end Now we're gonna take this NYX eyeshadow primer and I'm just gonna very very lightly uh, blend it through the eyelids and this is just gonna help that eyeshadow really pop and really be like super super blue and not patchy because sometimes if you apply very colorful colors it can come up patchy on a dry base so i'm first gonna just pack on this blue shade on my eyelids and then with a blending brush i'm just gonna softly blend the edges and kind of bring it more upwards bring it more outer like outer portion of my eye and also the inner portion of my eye because i really want to make that rounded shape and then i'm just gonna bring it also a little bit like uh you i mean you can see what i'm doing here i'm gonna make like a little like a skull line like a skull effect on between the brows and my forehead it's gonna go like this uh, yes <laughs> and then i'm gonna just just make sure it's not super straight because it it's gonna look weird just like a weird weird not very straight shape and then we're gonna blend that line and I'm also gonna blend the same blue color on my lower lash line and with a puffy blending brush I'm just gonna blend it again like around the eye so it's more like a circle shape as you can see of course we're gonna do the same exact thing to the other eye just gonna uh, make it a bit shorter that uh, brow line that skull line just so it's makes like a little different look and then i'm gonna take a little bit more angled brush and make a little bit more intense that line so it's really pops 
and blend it again with the other blended area I'm gonna take this Norvina palette that purple gorgeous shade and I'm gonna kind of bronze up my skin with this color make that skull effect shadows and I gotta say at the end I did go, go over with the blue color but I think it's still kind of created a nice shadow then I'm gonna take a silver glitter eyeliner and I'm just gonna dot some glittery dots around that blue shadow area also a little bit on that eyebrow upper portion and I'm gonna take some glitter glue and these kind of glittery sequences and really make it more glittery around this upper area just gonna put a little bit that glue with a brush and then with a finger just kind of stick it like randomly in random areas and then I'm gonna take these sequences I'm gonna take exactly the blue ones and the silver sh sh shade <laughs> ones and one by one I'm just gonna randomly also stick them around this eyebrow and the forehead area just so it gives a, hmm, I don't know more glittery <laughs> effect and then with this blue kind of pearly pigment I'm just gonna highlight the inner corners of my eye and I'm gonna use a black eye pencil to kind of give that eyeliner effect but I'm not gonna do that like the full-on wing I'm just gonna put like only on my lash line and with a brush just kind of blend it out a little bit and I'm also I'm gonna do the same on my lower lash line and also kind of blend it kind of smoke it out a little bit more on the lower lash line so it looks more smoky than just a Line. and of course then we're gonna just apply some mascara some good amount of mascara and for my false lashes I'm gonna use today um, Coco lashes these are the Coco hmm, I don't know Demiji I think those are Demiji yeah I do use these pretty often lately I really like the effect it gives to the eyes to the eyeshadow totally I love them I love them <laughs> they look super cute yes so then I'm gonna go with the same blue eyeshadow we use for the eyes and now we're gonna kind of create that nose nose bone nose area uh, nose skull no skull yeah I will say that <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the same pigment and just kind of highlight that tip of the nose so it's a little bit more shiny a little bit more highlighted and then I'm gonna take a little blending brush and blend it uh, around that area I did that purple shade like bronzing area and yeah as you can see that purple still is there but not as much and then with a blue eye pencil I'm just gonna start create that mouth skull area um, you know this one takes a little bit of time I wish I did took a little bit more time to be more precise the lines was a little bit too thick at the end but once you blend it it's it's just fine it's just fine <laughs> just uh, I'm gonna first draw them with the pencil and then with a like a fluffy brush or like a very tiny angled fluffy brush I'm just gonna kind of shadow out those lines so they kind of disappear in the skin and start to create those like teeth kind of shaped uh, shapes yeah <laughs> Then I'm gonna take the same brush, I did apply the blue eyeshadow on my eyes but with no product, just gonna shade out a little bit those inner portions of the teeth areas, just so it gives a little bit of blue effect also. <music> I'm gonna take the glitter glue and just dot like one dot in each portion of the tooth area and I'm gonna take the same blue and silver sequences and just stick them in between those teeth areas randomly like one blue one silver one blue one silver so it looks like um, random <laughs> and then with that same glitter silver eyeliner yes I'm just gonna dot also some little glittery dots around that teeth area to give it a more shiny effect 
And then with the same blue eyeshadow I used uh, all over my face, on my eyes, I'm gonna start to create kind of shadows on my collarbone, on my chest area. It's really personal preference, like how far you wanna go. I just did the topper, like upper portion, like just to give the idea of that shadows of the collarbones. But yeah, then after I'm just gonna put a little bit of that glitter glue again in these areas and stick some glitters to give a more shiny effect. And yeah, that's about it for this look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this first Halloween tutorial. I'm so excited to share with you the rest of my Halloween tutorials on the next Sundays. So yeah guys, stay tuned, stay crazy, stay spooky and I'll see you on my next video next Sunday. Bye! Mwah.